what we're going to talk about now is estate planning. And what's important here is plan for your legacy to last forever because you will not. It's important, especially with Generation X, where it, which has accumulated all, a lot of wealth. Let's face it, as you know, there are two things in life that are inevitable, death and taxes. And sadly, the two go hand in hand. Upon death, an individual is deemed to have sold all his assets at fair market value. And your estate is required to pay a tax on the gain. So in other words, you make $10 million, you're going to be writing a check of $2 million to the government for that. A tidal wave is coming. There is the retirement of the baby boomers. In other words, Generation X. The baby boomers was a, a sudden spike in birth rates that happened after the, between the 50s and the 60s and lasted for about 20 years. Those people are going to be retiring and passing away in the ne next 30 years. You've got 8.2 million babies that were born during this period. And by 2035, 25% of the population is projected to be over 65 years of age. The boomers will leave $1 trillion in inheritance over the next 20 years. $1 trillion at 23%, guess what? The government gets a nice tidy sum of $230 billion in their pocket if you do not do something to protect from that. We're talking about what are the formulas that have to be set up to ensure that you properly plan for an estate. First of all, you need to do a formal will. 50% of the people in Canada do not have a will. In the will, we're not just talking about passing the money on to the kids. When do you want to pass it on to the kids? When they're 18, when they're, when they're 25, when they're 30, or when they're 40, or over a period of time? How do you pass it on? What do you pass on? Is These are all questions that you should ask in a will. So, you've spent your whole life working and providing for your family, and all of a sudden, you die and you've accumulated this wealth and 23% of it automatically goes to the government. And that's a scenario that happens over and over again in Canada. As simple as somebody who owns four houses in downtown Toronto, bought them for $40,000 and subsequently when he passed away they were worth a million and a half each. So that's six million dollars. He ends up paying taxes on that six million dollars of over a million five. So make sure that you plan for this to minimize the tax burden upon debt. And the way to plan it is to ensure there are things such as proper estate freezes, proper family trust set up, and that the large and valuable portfolio of assets are passed on to the next generation and therefore your legacy as well as your wealth gets transferred to the next generation, which is so important if you are gonna set up your legacy and ensure that your, the future of your kids is gonna be stabilized. Now, how do you transfer these assets? You transfer these assets by doing what they call an estate freeze. In other words, at a specific point in time, you freeze the assets of a company or an asset in the hands of the next generation. Now the next generation, what happens is they will take the value, the increase in value from the time that the freeze is done to going forward is done in their hands. And as I mentioned, this avoids future capital gains. And now you've transferred the assets to your kids at a much lower tax bracket and in a controlled environment. Who wants to do tax planning? when there's a death in the family. That's the worst time to do tax planning because you're not in this frame of mind to be able to do tax planning. But when you're doing a reorganization and you freeze the shares and you set up special shares, you can do it in a, in a periodic, in a formal and constructive manner which allows you to, to do it properly, to evaluate the business properly. And also, over and above that, to take out some of the growth that's already being accumulated at a much, much lower tax bracket from the time you do the freeze 
to the time that you actually pass away. They're also with the freeze, it allows you to have tax planning opportunities, which we already mentioned, such as income splitting, such as basically creditor protection, and such as assist you against family law situations because of the fact that you do not have one recipient of the assets. Also, there's another very important criteria which is the fact that every person in Canada has a $750,000 capital gains exemption for the sale of a company. That can be spread amongst all the individual. So in other words, say you do a freeze and you have your children, say you have three children and it's you and your spouse now, the, and you were the ones who, were ho who was holding the shares of, the, of that company, now, you can, now it's being held by five people if it gets sold in the future, that $750,000, you're allowed to multiply that by five. So if you have a gain of over $3.5 million, $3 million, you basically get that gain tax free. So this is a huge tax opportunity for a proprietor of an organization. So important, plan, do it now. It's so complex and it's very elaborate. The rules have to be followed, but if you don't do it, if you wait until it's too late, at that point, you will have major tax burdens in the future. And that can be avoided. It can be avoided through tax planning, life insurance, and other factors such as that. So go to your accountant, make sure you talk to them about planning for death. Inevitably, it's going to come. So you might as well plan for it now rather than wait for it to happen and then try to plan for it in a, in a situation where you are grieving.